Hey, hi there, welcome to Coffee Chat. Um, I'm Michelle Peterson. I'm a direct response copywriter, marketing consultant, and coach. And oh my goodness, so I'm having another week connection. Guys, what is up with that? Well, good morning, welcome. Thank you for being here with Coffee Chat. We're talking about online marketing. We're talking about online marketing, success strategies, and you know, whatever questions you may have for me, I'm, I'm here, I am ready, willing, and able to answer them for you. So to get everything started, I thought, you know, today on a Monday, um, I'd share with you something I heard over the weekend. And so one of the guys that I totally follow and have learned a lot from is Gary Vaynerchuk. Vayner Media now. He used to do the Wine Library TV. Um, is how he got started in his family's wine business, and um, so he, you know, he has such a unique perspective and woo, sorry, a unique perspective and point of view. Um, and he he has such great insight to share with people, right? So this weekend he. And he he publishes stuff all the time, but so he made this statement this weekend in in a post that he did it, and he does a lot of video, and he, this is the quote: "So, the fear of rejection or the laziness of the execution is stopping people from winning." So he says these two things are what stops just about everybody um, from moving forward. So the fear of rejection or the laziness of execution. And I have to tell you, I will I will be the first to admit that both of those have applied at some point in my business, right? Where, you know, you, you the fear of rejection, so the fear of putting yourself out there. I talked about this, you know, in our last coffee chat that, you know, the 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 pursuit of perfection and and wanting to be perfect all the time um was was making me not put myself out there and, and go live. Well, I've gotten over that. I'm tr Well, I shouldn't say I've gotten over that. I'm in the process of getting over that. I am really working on it. Um, but what other kind of fear of rejection could there be? You know, it, it could be the salesperson who doesn't make the phone calls, doesn't make the follow-up, um, doesn't ask for the sale, right? How many of you have been, and, and I've been in sales too, guys, and, and, yeah, I I will raise my hand. I will admit to that one too. Um, you know, it's that fear, um, the fear of, of of somebody rejecting you, the fear of getting that no, and you know, we we get over it, right? The success, well, the successful salespeople get over that because have you also heard of this um, for sales that every no gets you closer to the yes right? Babe Ruth. I love baseball. You guys know that. Babe Ruth, every strike, every strike out gets me closer to the next home run, right? So, and that is so true. So you just need to, you know, put yourself out there and, and instead of fearing rejection, just take it as if, if it's a no, for example, in sales, if it's a no, then it's not a no to you personally, most times. It's just a fact that that person may not be ready right now for what you're offering. Wow, right? What a, what a change in perspective. Because if, you know, so instead of thinking of it being just a flat, straight no, perhaps think of it as a not now, not right now, right? So the fear of rejection is big. The laziness of execution can be even bigger, I think. Because so the laziness of execution, so so implementation, execution is not easy, right? <laughs> it's just not, it is not easy. Hi, Nikki, welcome. 
So we're talking about implementation, right? And it's not easy. It is hard. It is hard work to implement. You have all these ideas, right, running around in your head, either things that you've thought of or things that you've seen others, things that um, maybe your coach has told you. Um, you know, maybe it's somebody that you just follow and, and they put out all this great content and you get these ideas, but it's hard to implement them. It really is hard. And... You know, so sometimes people will kind of do, you know, that half-assed job. Sorry for the language. Um, but, you know, and, and honestly, is that, is it better than nothing? Well, yes. But is it, to, is it implementing, is it getting you the best results that you could have? Well, guys, no, right? And, and you know, it's so funny because I think if you really ask any successful marketer has been guilty of that, has been guilty of, well, I'll just do it good enough. I'm on this really hard time crunch and I'm just going to put it out there and it will be good enough. And, you know, it's that's just a fact of life. But if you do that often enough and it becomes a habit, well, then that's when you get into trouble, right? Um, you know, so you have to be careful that if you're... If you're doing something, you know, really fast and, and, and you know it's not your best and, and you're doing it for a reason because it just has to get done, allow yourself the forgiveness, the understanding and the forgiveness of doing it, but please just don't let it become a habit. Don't let that, that in, in Gary Vee's words, that laziness of execution become a habit. Excuse me. So, it is coffee chat after all. Um, so, so what do you guys think of that? So, e so remember we were talking about either the fear of rejection or the laziness of execution, holding people back and keeping them from winning, keeping them from thriving, right? Um, you know, it, it's... I'd love to hear from you. So, you know, please comment and, and tell me your story about how you overcame that fear of rejection. Or if you're still, if it's still a challenge, let us know that too. I mean, this this is supposed to be a forum where we are helping each other. So um, I hope that both, I hope that you'll allow me to help you. And I also hope that you'll allow the other people that are gonna be on either watching this live or watching it in the in the replay to to really I hope you help each other as well right this is a community uh, you know we're on we're we're on social and and we're supposed to be social right and 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 in my eyes being social means helping each other when we need it right being there to support each other so as you're getting over your fear of rejection um, reach out to people to help you. You know, another thing to, to think about is um, when, when you're in that, in the midst of that fear of rejection and, you know, we were talking about whether that is making you not do something like it was, it was, you know, it, if it's, if it's making you not be vulnerable, right? If, if, if the fear of being vulnerable, that's really the fear of rejection. If that is what's holding you back, um, well, first of all, you really need to work on that. I work on it daily. Um, so you have to recognize it in yourself and then, you know, do work on it. Some of the things that have helped me is, um, so one thing is that I do keep a, a folder, an actual folder for, a physical folder for, um, p things that have been sent to me, like letters or cards that have congratulated me on doing a good job or have thanked me for the help that I've been to somebody else. If somebody, you know, sends me an email, I will print it out and then keep it in my folder because as, as great as digital stuff is, there's something about being able to, you know, open up that folder and really look at things you know, physical things that you can touch and that you can hold, 
right? So that's one of the things that I do because, you know, when you see, you know, and I've got dozens and dozens of them in there now. And when you can look back and you can see all the people that you have helped, that you have touched, that are on your side, that are supporting you, for me anyway, that really helps, right? And I, and I bet it would help you too. So that's one strategy. Um, another strategy is asking people. You know, people don't always just think to send you stuff or, or share with you what you've meant to them. So sometimes you just need to ask. And, you know, so sometimes if you have that person in your life you, that you can say, you know, I'm just really feeling down about myself. Um, can you just tell me something good? Right. Um, that also helps. Uh, you know, as, as, as silly as that I mean, as that sounds, it, it really does help. Right. So um, let's see. What's it? Um, I I would. I'm really curious if you would sh pop in the comments some of the things that have helped you get over it. I I would love that. I would love to see what has helped you get over that fear of rejection that that fear of putting yourself out there your the fear of asking for the sale um all these things that we have to get over to succeed right and i think so i know this this our coffee chat is not limited to just women but i want to speak right now just to the women and and men i get it you guys have these vulnerabilities and and um challenges too but i think sometimes as women it's even harder. And especially, okay, so for a strong woman, right? People are used to you projecting this strength and this um, capableness, right? So it's really hard for us to show that vulnerable side, right? And to put yourself out there and to, and really, you know, Whatever kind of marketing that you're doing, whether it's for, you know, if you're a solopreneur, it's really putting yourself out there. But even as a company, when when you're doing marketing, and, and especially when you're doing it online, when so many people can see it, um, you hope so many people will be seeing it, right? That's the point. But where was I going with that? It, it, it makes it hard really to to be vulnerable to 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 open yourself up and and put yourself out there because have you ever thought this have you ever thought well oh my god what if they don't like it right what if they don't like me and you know what i'm here to tell you you are awesome, you are enough, you are worthy, and for those who don't get you, that's okay. Everybody doesn't need to get you. Everybody doesn't need to want your services. Gosh, could you imagine if everybody in the world wanted your services? Crazy, right? You don't need that. You want to connect with and resonate with the people that you want to work with, right? Now, so just as you don't really need everybody to want your services, you don't want them to. Imagine those people that you really don't want to work with, right? Um, so, so sometimes that's a good thing that you don't, um, you know, that you don't resonate with everybody. Um, anyway, we are running out of time. I don't want to have these things go on and on and on forever. My goal is for them to be about 15 minutes, and I think that's where we're at now. So I hope that this has given you something to think about today as you go forward and you move throughout your day. Um, don't let that fear of rejection stop you from putting yourself out there and going for it. And don't let the laziness of execution keep you from winning either. And remember, I, I did take that from Gary Vaynerchuk this weekend. He That was one of his big 
um, messages was that the two things holding pe most people back, actually I think he said all people, but two things holding people back are the um, fear of rejection and the laziness of execution. So acknowledge that if those either one or both are your challenges, reach out for help when you need it and don't let them hold you back any longer. Go out there. You make it a great day. Here's to our coffee chats. I will see you again tomorrow, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. I'll see you here. Um, cheers to your success. Bye for now.